Okay, so this tutorial is for grade 4 specifically. Uh, make sure that the sprite is selected in the sprite pane. And the first thing you should do is that you have to decide how your program should start. Uh, now, you may be given a question during a test or maybe you're making your own program for fun and you have to decide when to start the program. So first head over to the events category over here and here you have all the events or the triggers. These decide, these blocks decide when your program will start. So let's have a look at the first one. We're only concerned with the first and the third for now at least. The first block, when the green flag clicked, this will only allow the program to be started when we click on this green flag. And the third one, when this sprite clicked, this will only allow the program to start when you click on the sprite itself. So let's suppose uh, we have instructions to make a program which asks a mathematical question and uh, it is supposed to start when we click on the sprite. So just drag and drop the third block which says when this sprite clicked into the editor or the code area, this middle part of the interface. Now we need to make the sprite ask a question. For that we need the ask block and the ask block is in the sensing category over here, the light blue category. Drag and drop the ask block and, and attach it underneath the event uh, when the sprite clicked. Now let's suppose we are asked uh, or we were supposed to make the sprite say what is 100 plus 200 so simply click inside this area where you can type the white space with where it's written what's your name and start typing what is 100 plus 200, 200 and if you want to check if it's working or not simply click on the sprite because our program in this case this one this program will start when the sprite is clicked so click on the sprite and there you go there's the question what is 100 plus 200 and whenever you type a question the sprite gives you this space whenever you use the ask block to make the sprite ask a question the sprite gives you this space at the bottom of the stage to type in your answer so this is a that that's about it for starting the program and making the sprite ask a question in the next video i will be covering how to make a variable and how to store a number in that variable